hurt. <laughs> Eddie, we need to make those commercial breaks a little longer so we can show the entire miniseries Roots during one. Um, we're going to meet uh, Take 5 with the founder of the punkvoter.com. No FX frontman and bassist. Please welcome Fat Mike, ladies and gentlemen. Fat Mike. <laughs> All right. Um, Rock against Bush. Now, let me ask you this. I find uh, Bush to be more of a punk than Carrie because punk is an ethos about being yourself. Now, I look at Bush, and whether you like him or not, he is indelibly himself. I look at Carrie, and I see a man who's the antithesis of punk. He's very conflicted about who he is in any given moment or situation. Why would you want to punk against Bush when he's your peeps? I don't think he's our peeps. <laughs> First of all, John Kerry was in a band. He snowboards. Now that that's kind of cool. What right was there. his band? Now what did he play? I don't the know. cow sills? I think what, he played bass, and I play bass. You know, so you the, know, the I have EV3. that connection right there. Yeah, but there's the connection. No, uh, you know, punk rock is about social change, and I don't think Bush is for social change. He's changing his backwards, maybe, but he's not taking us forward. No? He's not giving us any progressive ideas. I don't believe so. No. Hmm. What about uh, what, what about the feeling that if you're really quintessentially punk, you don't. About politics. That's that's our problem right now is getting kids to care about politics because punkers don't care and kids don't care. They're the most apathetic group there is. But we are getting them to care because we're telling them things that they're not hearing on mainstream media. What aren't they hearing in mainstream media? They're not hearing that uh, there's a very good chance the draft is going to be reinstated. And when we tell our audience that, they listen because they haven't heard that and they're the ones that are going to go. They haven't heard that. Is that, that was pretty funny, right? Uh, they the, also the crowds in an uproar. <laughs> they haven't heard that uh, this is not just an election about the White House. It's you know it's a battle for the Supreme Court, really, because this you know, next there's going to be a lot of people who are on the cusp of being 200 years old on our current court. That's right, and a lot of retirees, president. and you know, and the uh, reproductive rights is up there. And we tell kids, you know, abortion could be made illegal in this country very easily. They're one vote away from it. Uh, and, you know, Kerry is pro-choice and Bush is pro-life, and what it's about up the in the air. Bush has Kids come care right about up. this kind of thing. They don't, they don't care about the economy that much. They don't care about a lot of things, but they do care about these things. You know, Bush has come out and said that he is the chief law enforcement officer of the land, upholds the law on the land, and the law on the land right now vis-a-vis -vis abortion is pro-choice. Does that buy him any goodwill with you? Uh, no, he has made 11 executive actions against reproductive rights, you know, on a lot of places outside of this country. funding overseas and stuff like right. that? Right, but for, you know, but for our troops, Roe for our troops Wade twice. flipped over, you haven't, right? No, I mean, but it will. I, I was warned a lot of things about Bush four years ago, and I didn't quite know what to make of him at the beginning either. But I think you look at his track record and I think, well, I haven't seen old people turned out into the street. I'm not seeing women in the back alleys Well, again. you know what, he hasn't been able to appoint anyone yet. So he's... Well, between two and four Supreme Court justices will be replaced in the next four years. So there it is. They only need one more vote to overturn Roe versus Wade. And you can't just kick back and see what he's going to do. He's made it clear. You know, he is pro-life, and he's taken these executive actions. So we can't wait. We can't wait for him. You know, we How have many to... people are getting signed up? You, you say the kids listen, but I find the kids, that's the thing about kids, man. They're there for your concert, and then they walk out, and then they're into the next thing, right. and they kind of Well, blind. we're getting about 5% of the shows we've been doing. We're on a Rock Against Bush tour. We've been getting about 5% of the kids to register at the shows. Do you think you'd get more kids if you just did Rock Against uh, Lethargy or Rock Against no, Not Register? No, no, because kids, it has to be kids rock want to Rock Bush. Against something. I know. It's, fun, it's funny, though. Don't you notice? Uh, I would be surprised if there wasn't uh, a lot of kids out there who dig Bush. Do you not notice that? There are, but when we, you know, we have the new CD out, and it comes with What's the DVD. What's your CD? Let me... it, the CD's called Rock Against Bush. Oh, I see. CD. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was the book. That's not my band. I thought that was, that's an amount There's 26 of... bands on it. It's volume one. There's another one coming out. Anyway, there's a DVD on there with a lot of good information out there, and we've been showing these movies at our shows, and when the kids find out, What's going on is a movie about the war in Iraq, and it's all CIA agents talking. It's not crazy liberal left-wing people. It's CIA agents right. saying that our information was good. You know, we did not need to go to war. Anyway, so kids, when they find this stuff out, then they start caring. You feel fulfilled doing this, or do you feel like you know, you're betraying I, your punk roots? Yeah, I do. Well, I wish I didn't have to do this. Yeah, you don't like speaking about this. I don't do like doing interviews. Stuff? I don't like politics. You know, I, you know I like, like we were talking about earlier, I like gambling, I like golfing and drinking, and <laughs> that's what I want to do. But 
someone has to do this. Someone has to get our generation involved in this election. And, you know, I know a lot of people, so. Well, listen, man, the, uh, the interview's almost over, so get that wedge in your hand and get that beer can in your other hand uh, and uh, <laughs> go lead your life, baby. Thanks, Thanks. for coming Thanks on. So we'll, we'll be right back, and we'll finish the show. And uh, I'm going to talk Johnny Lydon during the break with my man. <laughs> Take a break.